Jeff, say after me. Jeff, what are you doing? Are you sure you're ready for this? You want to tie yourself to a woman you don't really love? Do you? Come on, boy, thank you. You can still stop this. It's not too late. Run, Jeff. Where's your Jeff? Just drove off with this mobile site. It's like he's traveling. What? 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 He's just traveled right now with the bag. What? Someone tell him, get in the car. Get in the car now! drama still puzzles me. I'm yet to figure out why he ran away and brought his shame to us. And now, he's disappeared to only God knows where. Wipe your tears, my dear. Stop crying. Crying will not solve the problem. We should rather be concerned with finding out where he is and why he did what he did. Stop crying, my dear. No. Stop crying. Stop crying, my dear. Stop crying. Stop crying.
Hello, Jeff. Jeff, I know you're hearing me now. Thank God that I last picked my call after one week. What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Honestly, Jimmy, I, I don't want to talk about this, okay? What do you mean you don't want to talk about it? You've been causing confusion everywhere. The news is all over. Samantha is going through hell and you say you don't want to talk about it? Are you okay? I'm okay. You're not? Stop shouting. The hell I'm going to shout. Listen to me, runaway groom. Don't you ever call me the runaway groom. Okay, you hear me? Don't you ever! Then what are you? Running away on your wedding day and disappear without a trace? What do I call you? That is my decision, okay? That is my business! The hell is my business. Because you messed me up and so many friends and families who are going to crucify you. I don't want to believe you're displaying such a cowardice and irresponsible attitude. I'm not a coward, okay? I was just... I was just trying to be a little careful, that's all. Then come and explain yourself to the people you call shame on. Wisen up, man. Wisen up. So it was the fear of being a husband that made you run away? Honestly, Jimmy, I didn't mean to do that, okay? I was confused. I just saw myself drifting into holding my dream and something I'm not ready for. I had to stop it. But you said you love this girl. You've told her that severally, haven't you? Yes, I've said it. I also realized it was infatuation. Infatuation for one year? Jeff, are you listening to yourself? Come on, Jimmy, it's possible. Yes, it is, but that was the worst hour to realize it. Honestly, you goofed. You haven't changed. You let this girl on for one year and you slapped her publicly? This playboy lifestyle hasn't left you. Come on, Jimmy, please. Don't make things worse, okay? It's worse already. Do you find a way to make her to understand this? <sighs> no need. It's okay. I understand. Samantha, please. Jeff, why? Samantha, Samantha. Let her be. This is not the right time. Just pray she doesn't do anything harmful to herself. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. So if only you give me the chance with... I don't need your explanation. You are a bloody fool and a coward who doesn't deserve Samantha. You are a disgrace to manhood. Thank God she's gone to the UK away from such men like you. Get out of my house. Get out of my house before I release the dogs on you. Sir, please, sir. Get out! Fool. I mean, um, I don't know how you're gonna look at it, but I have to leave this town for a while. I'm totally leave that ass down. Now she's gone, so I have to leave. <sighs> so where are you gonna go? Well, for now is uh, a cry. But I might move on. Yeah. <clears throat> you need a fresh life. However, I hope we're gonna keep in touch. You know, I need a fresh air, I need a fresh life, I need a fresh environment. Alright then. So, you take care, man. Don't forget your call. Jesus Christ. This thing doesn't happen to me. I'm not glad that this is gonna happen to you. That guy is very, very cute. He's just flaunting his fine boy's face. Hey! You guys mind if I join you guys? No, no problem. I'm Jeff. 
I'm Christine and here is my friend Nicole. Nicole, it's a pleasure meeting you guys. Same here. <laughs> Care for some drink? Uh, of course. Uh, let me get us more. Waiter, please, uh, over here. So do you guys always come here? No, once in a while. Once in a while, really? <laughs> I actually felt like swimming, so I had to throw myself into the water because I hadn't swam for a while. Wow, you still got some skills. Ready? Well, that's good. So now that you join me, then let's go back. Okay. Let us swim, come, baby. Welcome to my humble home. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Mm, you think so? I know so. <laughs> okay then, you make yourself comfortable. Right, um, can I offer you something to drink? What do you like to drink? Anything soft. Anything soft, anything soft. Unfortunately, I don't have anything soft, but I... Uh... Um, I'm also feeling hungry. You're hungry? Mm -hmm. So what exactly would you like to eat? Anything rice would do. Anything rice would do. Anything rice. Um, well, in that case, uh, I go and prepare something delicious for you, right? You're kidding me, right? What are you talking about? I'm dead serious. Or do you want to test my potentials? <laughs> you know what, I'm serious. I'm going to prepare you a wonderful meal. A meal that you are going to enjoy. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you actually prepared this. Oh, come on. What's a big deal? I actually learned it from my mom. Splendid. <laughs> Jeff. I love you. <laughs> well, is it because uh, I prepared this simple meal? That's why. <laughs> no. I love you. <laughs> well, I understand. Okay. You actually love guys who cook for the ladies, right? No. I just love you. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> Already. Yes. Jeff, I sincerely love you. Look into my eyes and tell me if you don't feel the same. Nicole, if I don't love you, then why are we here? Then kiss me. Don't you think that's better too fast? Honestly, I can't believe it. I still think it's a dream. <laughs> Wake up, girl. It's reality. <laughs> what we should be talking about now is the dates. Well, we haven't fixed any dates yet, but I'm sure it'll be in less than two months. 
Wow, that's close. Yes, I want it even closer. <laughs> Girl, you're going to help me with a lot of things. Like what? Like, like shopping, like uh, picking up venue, picking up my wedding dress, and and um, the shoes, and, and and I can't even think. I think you need to calm down, sleep before you collapse out of excitement. You're right. <laughs> but as if you have some sleep for sale, because how I'm feeling now, girl, I don't think I can get any sleep. <laughs> You're crazy. The guy has not even married you yet and you're going gaga? Who wouldn't be? It's the dream of every big girl, including you yourself! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for you! Hey, what's up, Jib? <laughs> well, honestly, I couldn't believe it myself. I couldn't just believe that I could fall in love. I'm serious. Well, actually, we are engaged and um, we'll be getting married in two months. <laughs> no, 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 no. This time around is not a fat edition, okay? I'm still very serious. <laughs> well, um, whatever the case may be, you know, you have to come down, right? I Because you are going to be the best man, like it or not. <laughs> okay, then. Crazy boy. <laughs> I fucked <to> you soon. <laughs> Well, it's unfortunate she's not here, as you can see. Well, then that makes the two of us. Excuse me? I said that makes the two of us alone in this house. What do you mean? I mean you and I can be together. Don't! Listen to me, Christine. Miko will be here any time from now. So please, I suggest you call her and tell her that you're here. Are you afraid? Of what? Of her. I'm not afraid of anybody. I'm just trying to be faithful to my wife to be. You would have been mine if it's not that she was too gorgeous. Come to change things now before it's too late. Change? Yes, change things. I am hot and spicy, fresh from the inside. Look, you put on your clothes now. You hear me? Nico is here. Please put on your clothes, okay? She's here. I won't go until you have a kiss of me. Kiss of you. What's wrong with you? Even a kiss? For goodness sake, what's wrong with you? Love is wrong with me, Jeff. You're making a mistake. <laughs> Look, I don't want to get mad with me, okay? Put on your clothes, or you're going to regret it. Put it on! Put it on now! How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Great. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, baby, I, I actually forgot something in your car when I drove here yesterday. What? I think, um, why don't you check then? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know I remember. I remember. I saw it. Oh, by the way, Christine is here. Christine? Yeah, she's here. Why didn't she call me and come again? Well, she said that uh, she couldn't reach the phone and she thought you were here, so she just thought to stop back. Oh, yeah. Maybe that was when my battery died. Mm. Okay. Okay. 
So, what would you like to eat? I thought you said Christine is here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, actually, uh, she, she actually left. Yeah. But you said she's still here. No, no. Actually, it was a mistake, baby. Immediately I told her that you're not around. She just left. Okay. Well, you asked what I wanted to eat. Sorry for what happened two nights ago. I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry, I am. It's okay. I'm a little busy inside. Um, Jeff, I want to know. Are you really serious about her and Nicole? Of course I'm serious. Not after six months. And you know it. So please, keep your distance. Nicole, I can't. What do you mean you're sorry? My wedding is in two weeks and you are my maid of honor. I don't get it. Why the sudden change of mind to go to England? It's an emergency for my mom. She needs me. I need to see her too. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I am. It's okay. I just thought as my best friend, you could wait till after the wedding. But don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I wish I could. But I might be back before the wedding. I'm not sure yet. It's all right. Excuse me. I can't be a maid of honor, girl. I can't. Was it difficult finding this place? Oh, uh, no, no, not really. Have you forgotten the last time we drove past this place? Yeah, 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 my bad. You should have come to watch me play, man. I was playing like Andrea Gas. Are you serious? Maybe some other time, you yeah, know? Yeah, next mm -hmm. time. Baby, please. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you ask me? How dare you ask me? I... Oh, that lovely question. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I got you scared, right? You did. I was dumbfounded. <laughs> you think you're the only one that can pull up surprises. Alright, you win. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Thank you. And yes, I'll marry you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Nice. Could get you more of this year. Did I scare you? Samantha. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering where I went. Please, I beg you, just go away. Just go, please. Oh, come on, don't worry. I know she's here. Besides, this atmosphere is not conducive enough for the kind of fellowship I want to have with you. Like I said, we're just getting started. We just started, Jeff. I heard you talking to someone. Me? Talk to someone? <laughs> Maybe it's the imagination. My imagination? Yeah. I heard a lady's voice. You heard a lady's voice? <laughs> Okay, it's the TV. I just turned it off. I say. TV. Yeah. TV. Yeah. Hmm. No, I heard something. What is it? What's wrong? What are you trying to say? What are you saying with? This is the nightgown I wore the other night I slept here. Yes. What is it doing in the bed? I put it there. I was uh, checking for the right nightgown to bring for you. And why are you still in your office clothes? Maybe. I was so tired and lonely, so I just fell asleep on the sofa. Baby, what is the whole thing about? What are you incinerating? Um, I'm sorry. I was just curious. Curious? Curious about what? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just thought I, I heard. You know what? Never mind. I'm sorry. It's 
okay. So, you go to your room. No, I'll sleep here with you tonight. Sleep here? You'll be breaking the rules? The rules are meant to be broken. But all the same, no sex. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why are you doing this to me? Why do you want to destroy my happiness? You destroyed mine first. You wounded my heart and brought shame to my life. And now you found happiness and left me with sorrow, sadness and tears. I tried to run away from you but I couldn't and here you are. Samantha, but I have said I'm sorry. Well sorry does not heal a wound. No, not the type that you've caused me. <laughs> Jeff, I loved you. God, I loved you so very much. You, you were my everything. I loved you more than life itself. You brought me nothing but happiness and joy and all of a sudden you just disappeared with the excuse that you were infatuated with me and not truly in love. <laughs> and in two days you're gonna walk down the aisle with another woman who happens to be my bosom friend and I'm her maid of honor. <laughs> what an irony. I honestly don't know how, 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 how I'm going to make this up to you but please, I don't know what you want me to do. Simple. Call up the wedding and let's finish up where we started. Can't do that, Samantha. I love Nicole. He said the same thing to me, remember? Yes, I've said it, but Samantha, please, you have to understand. Understand what? That you led me halfway to the altar and run away? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How else do you want me to say I'm sorry? With my flesh? With the whole of you. Yes, back to me. You know, you said something in your house yesterday that it's not every boat that sails that gets to the bank of the river. Well, we were in a boat. We were sailing. We're still sailing. So why don't we try to get to the bank of the river? Or we'll both capsize. Because a heavy storm is coming. I don't want to talk anymore. I can't do what you're asking me to do. I love Nico very much. I've loved you too, but... We can't be... Please, Samantha. I beg you. Find a place in your heart and forgive me, please. Come on, let's go. This place is too lonely. Let's go. I don't want to go with you. You go. You what? Samantha, what are you talking about? I can't leave you here all alone. It could be dangerous. He said. I don't want to go with you. Go off on my way. Jesus Christ. Samantha, please. I beg you. Let's go. Let's leave this place. did I ever meet you? Now I even feel worse than the first time. Why? I'm sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. Amy. I miss you, Jeff. Baby, I want you. I'm so lonely. Please, baby. you doing? What are you doing? No. No, I can't. What? 
can't. Please, no, 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 I can't. Buddy, you, you can do it. Come on. 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 Come um, I'm actually out with a friend. Okay. I'll be with you in the next 30 minutes. Alright? You take care of yourself now. I love you. Right. Samantha, Get please. Away. Get away from me. Samantha. Samantha. I can't leave you here in the dark. Get away from me! But you left me in the dark already before, remember? Okay, fine. You stay here and enjoy yourself, okay? <laughs> and this is serious. So what did you conclude with her? Nothing. <laughs> what do you mean, nothing? She insisted that I cut off the wedding and go with her, but I can't do that. But you should have made a deal with her. Jimmy. She bluntly refused to accept anything but me. And I told her off and I can't. No, Jeff. There has to be something. Like what? Should I tear my flesh, dream my blood for her? Is that, is, is that what she wants? Well, fine. If that's what she wants, fine. I would do it. I'd do it. Provided if she accept it. This is critical. I know Samantha is deeply hurt. I still remember her tears that day. I felt like weeping myself. But who knows what she might do next? Come on, what, what can she do? She won't do anything. Don't say that, man. Don't underestimate the fury of a woman's scorned. So what do I do? Run away? I've begged her. I've pleaded to her. So, <laughs> but she's not willing to give up. So what should I do? How come you haven't even told Nicole about this? I I actually um trying to figure out ways to tell her, you know. And I also thinking how she might accept it. Jeff, that is always your problem. You let things go out of hand before you react to it. If you had let her in the know, this might not be happening. Jimmy, uh everything was going so fast, you know. I actually thought I I was actually hoping that things were going to fade away after we get married, settle down. Then I can be able to explain to her, but unfortunately, it's not working like the way. They just met last week, and I didn't know anything until this week of our wedding. And she just came out, introduced me to how, like, um, she said some bosom find that is going to be her brass maid or maid of honor, whatever. Yes, because she didn't tell her the truth, else she wouldn't have refused. Now your wedding is tomorrow. Mates at the university, Legon, yeah. Yes, exactly. They were uh, called Smith, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that explains the familiarity. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, baby, yeah. I'm here to pick up some of the things I left here yesterday. Uh, yeah, so let me go in and get Okay, baby. Okay, so we'll be inside. Man, we should watch this whole thing carefully. Silence is a dangerous gold. Can you imagine this girl's? Just girl's. Can you imagine that? Can't believe what I think of doing. Can you imagine that? Many times it breaks my heart. I say that I've had enough, cannot take no more. The reason I need. Hello, baby. How's your day been? Fine. 
I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I had quite a busy schedule at the hospital. Oh, it's okay. Uh, you look pale. Is everything all right? Yeah. No. Tell me what happened. No, no, baby. I'm, I'm fine. No. I know you. Something must have happened to put you in this mood. Baby, this is me. I'm, I'm, I'm just tired. You know, I've been helping my friend Nicole out with her wedding preparation, so... It's been two days now. I'm just tired, yeah. It must be quite tedious for you. Yeah, so I'm very tired. Yeah, um... Okay. Oh, yeah, um, sample of our wedding invitation card. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe, you know, I'm very tired now, so I'll look at them tomorrow. Yeah. I understand, though. Should I take you home or are you going to spend the night here? No, I'll, I'll spend them right here. Good. Hi. You have something to eat? No. But I'm not hungry though. Alright. Uh, let me just change it. Because I told you Samantha is here, right? No, it's not what you think. Um, I guess the wedding is on Saturday. Pastor will ask the congregation. Is there anyone here that is not in support of this marriage? I'll say, yes, Pastor. You try that now. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Trust me, I'll kill you. <laughs> I think you made the right decision by inviting very few people to this wedding. That's exactly what we wanted. That's the reason why we only send out text messages. I believe you're ready for this wedding this time. I know your point. But trust me, I'm ready. So okay. Let's go. Yeah, baby. We don't know where we want to be. My goodness, you look so beautiful today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you. <laughs> look how wonderful this dress looks on me. <sighs> Can you guys excuse me? Okay, sure. You look so beautiful today. Hmm? You're looking so gorgeous. Thank you. As if this dress was made for you. It's okay. You've done your part here. Why don't you go and check on the arrangements at the reception hall?
down from the corner. Get down. What is all this? Man? Get down. I said, get down. With you? Get down. Get down. Move, move. 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 Get down. Stay there. Move. Get in the car. Get in the car. Hey, Jimmy. 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 Over and done with since you have refused to yield to me. So, so it is you. You underestimated my abilities. You felt that I was making empty threats. You actually ignored me, went ahead with the wedding, forgetting that a woman's gone is as dangerous as death. Samantha, please don't do this. Please. That's why I've begged you. I've, I've begged for your forgiveness. Forgiveness, my foot. Samantha, please. So, what do you want to do? Kill me. I'm gonna pull the trigger. Pull the kill me. Kill me like you die. Because whatever happened between us happened for the best. Because by now, we would have, we would have been that force. Because I didn't really love you. So why did you leave me on? This one is, I'm sorry. Sorry, my ass. I'm gonna pull the trigger, Samantha. Pull it. Kill me. Let's put an end to this mess. Let's put an end to this mess. You wouldn't have me. She wouldn't have me. And I'll be a dead man. Let's put an end to the mess. Go. Go on. Pull the trigger. What are you waiting for? We're all going to wait till it's dawn. She's going to wait for you and you will never show up. She'll cry and cry like I did on that unfaithful day of our uncompleted wedding. What did you stand to achieve? Same thing you achieved on that day. No, 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 Samantha! No, no, no! Samantha! 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 No! Samantha! No! 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 Okay, okay, okay. Is the is the pastor there yet? No, please tell them to hold on. Okay? I have been trying to reach him. No, text me second number, okay, please. Tell them to wait. Okay, thank you. Hi, Samantha. Oh, hi. Sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. I missed your calls. I'm on the way now. But what happened? Yeah, it's a long story. I actually lost my keys and I looked for it everywhere. I couldn't find it. I had to actually get somebody to break the locks. The whole time my phone was in my car and inside my back. Can you imagine? I'm so sorry. Are you guys at the church where you're still at home? I'm still at home. I'm still at home, Mom. Jeff has been kidnapped. What? You're joking. I don't know. I don't know. My enemies, they're at work. I don't know. This can't be happening now. You know, just, just be calm. I'm going to say, okay? I'm coming. Okay. Now is 12.30, which means you're late. 
By the time it's six o'clock, the congregation would have left and there'll be no more wedding to attend. So we have um, five and a half hours to go. Now to again, what do you stand to achieve? And the answer, nothing. If it is to love and marry you, I can't. Not with this attitude you are exhibiting. No man in his rightful mind would do such a thing. If the wedding doesn't hold today, it will stay whole tomorrow, with or without you, as long as I'm alive. So, if you want to kill me, kill me now, or let me get out of here now! Shut up! Shut up! Shut the hell up! Why are you treating me this way? I love you, Jeff. I love you so much, I can't live without you. Don't you understand? Why can you not understand? I want you! You can't have me. You are upset with me. That's too bad. And I belong to someone now. I understand you have a very nice guy who's madly in love with you. So why don't you concentrate on him? Show him some love. And I promise I'll be your friend. You better not say anything. I don't want to be your friend. I want your love and to be your wife. But if that cannot happen, then maybe. Maybe what? Maybe what? Maybe what? The other wedding. And Jeff, this never happened. Hello. Okay, man. I heard it. If you kill me, you will be killed, an innocent man. Please, I beg you. Don't kill me, I beg you. Please, don't kill me. If you kill me, you you'll be killed, an innocent man. Please, I beg you. Hello. Christine, <laughs> where are you? I said you should leave everything and come. There's no point in doing all you're doing when the person is not here. It will all be in vain. <laughs> no, not yet. I need you here with me now. Hello? Yeah. Okay. No, no, they haven't called me. I haven't heard anything from them yet. Yeah, I've called the police, but they haven't called me. I'm still waiting. What happened? Oh God, what happened? What happened? Oh God. What's going on? Jimmy, what happened? There were three of them. They just blocked us with their car and wakes up our gunpoint. My goodness. So we've, we've called the police. So have they called? Not yet. We've been expectant for the past two hours. Thank <laughs> Jesus, God, why is this happening? So, so what do we do now? What else can we do but wait till we hear from them? <laughs> what else? It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Everything will be fine. Just calm down. Jeff, who did this? It's a long story. Everybody, 
Let's go, we are late. excitement about I'm pretty sure it's about where you guys are going to be spending your honeymoon right so tell me would it be London or Paris I'm sorry to disappoint you but none of the above <laughs> we've actually chosen the NSB hotel in the Garden City of Kumasi wow that is so cool I've heard so much about that hotel oh I'm happy for you guys um why did Kay leave so early well he said he had an emergency at the hospital so he had to leave oh yeah okay how far were the wedding plans? Um, he said I should probably give him like a month. Yeah, that was close. Yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> happy for you. Thank you. A month from <laughs> now, I I will still be on our on our honeymoon, right? Yes, but then I can't miss my best friend's wedding. Yeah. So we're gonna have to break that honeymoon. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, okay, you know what? Let me go and attend to some of the other guests, okay? You guys, chit chat. I'll be back. <laughs> um, the same here. I have some friends to take care of. Christine. Mm hmm. I was actually looking for you everywhere to ask you something. What is it? I saw you chatting with my boyfriend early on. Yeah. Do you like him? What kind of a question is that? Never mind. <laughs> Excuse me. I know you don't love him, but I like him and I'll have him. Bitch. And <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, uh, it's okay. Congratulations in advance. For what? You have a guide now and you are getting married soon. <gasps> you think so? I know, sir. A few hours ago you had a gun to my head like you want to blow my brain out. <laughs> now I've seen your guy. He's a nice person. He's cool. Perhaps he's rich, right? Go ahead and marry him. Oh, Jeff. Should I say enjoy your honeymoon or see you at your honeymoon? <laughs> hey, what's up? It's a matter, man. She hasn't given up. Why? What happened? She said something I'm trying to figure out. Forget her. You're married now and she can't change it. All you need to do now is settle down with your wife and tell her everything. Besides, she's getting married too. That's the point. She's not willing to understand. That's her problem. Okay, she's just working herself up, bro. Free your mind and enjoy your honeymoon. Let's go, your guests are waiting. Yeah, all right, man. let's go. Going. Hi, Kay. Hi. You remember me? Christine, right? Yeah, Christine. Yeah, what a surprise to see you again. Yeah, me too. I just thought I should bump in and say hi. Guess I'm lucky to meet you at home. You are actually because I'm on my way out. I have something for you. I hope you like it. What is it? It's a pair of yellow gold necklaces that I bought from a store in London. And the day I saw you at the party, I thought it looked really nice on you. Um. It's beautiful. Yeah, I guess it would look more beautiful on you if you wear it. Oh. Let me help you. Okay. Mm. Wow. It looks beautiful. 
So how much are you selling it? I'm not selling it. It's a gift from me to you. Oh, I, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. You're welcome, but do it with a hug. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, actually, due to my profession, I seldom wear this stuff, but since you said it's a gift, I'll, I'll keep it. Could you, could you please help me? Yeah. I'll keep it. Uh-huh. Special gift, right? Yep. All right. Um, do you, where are you going? I could give you a ride. Not to worry, I came with my car. Oh, okay. Mm. So, oh, okay. Is swollen, you've been crying. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just not feeling too well. Oh, sorry. Um, let's go to the hospital so I could examine you, okay? No, uh, baby, I'll, I'll be fine. Just, just hold me. I believe you're better now. Mm -hmm. I made the food. Do you like it? Yeah. I've always known you to be a very good cook. Thanks. Thank you. You know, Sami, my friend, will be returning from London tomorrow. I sent him some money to buy wedding rings. That's nice. Good. Yeah, that reminds me, um, your friend, Christine, yeah, she bought me a gift yesterday. A gift? Yeah. What kind of gift? Um, white gold necklace. I thought she was selling it, but I was wrong. She said, just wanted to give it to me. Uh, it's okay. <clears throat> it's okay? Is that all you're gonna say? What else do you want me to say? It was a gift, right? Yeah. Did yeah. you accept it? Yeah, I did. I collected it and kept it somewhere. Something I need to do tonight. Bye. Oh, we're used to you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm actually here to let you know that I was right. Right about what? 
Right about what I said to you at the wedding party. You like my fiance. Oh, please, Amata, I don't. <laughs> Christian, you can pretend all you want. But I actually want to thank you for the gold necklace gift you gave to him. As a matter of fact, I want you to keep giving him more because he gives them to me. No harm's meant. We're still friends. That's if you want it to be. God, what kind of a man is that? So he told her. Guess he's being faithful. Christine, be careful with your emotions. No, no, this is not fair. It's not fair at all. Why can't you be at their wedding? Huh? She was the maid of honor at our wedding. Now it's our turn to reciprocate. You say no. Sweetheart, you've got to understand, right? Understand what? Huh? We promised them that we'll be there. We promised. All of a sudden, you change your mind? What reason do we have not to be there? Because we're still on our honeymoon, sweetheart. Doesn't that mean a lot to you than a friend's wedding? Come on, wait. Look, we can see those people at any time, congratulate them, and do understand. Or do you want to compromise a draw here with someone else's? Is that what you're telling me? It's not fair. It's not fair. She's my best friend. Sweetheart. I'm sorry. You know I love you, right? I just want us to be together more. We don't need no distraction now. Hmm? This is our time. Let's enjoy it. Alright? Come on, baby. How do you like my gown? Beautiful. Thank you. Anytime. Come. <laughs> Wow, check yourself out. You're so pretty. Yes, you do. Even better than the first time you wore a wedding gown. Really? Yes. Then why? Why did he run out on me? And am I going to let Jeff walk away like that? No, Samantha. You can't marry Kay. You don't even love him. No. No, I can't. Alright, girls. Let me go and change. I'll be with you shortly. Can't. Too long. Samantha, what is it? I can't. What do you mean you can't go on with this? You don't like the makeup. I can't continue with this. Dr. K? But he's a nice man. I can't marry him. Samantha. I can't. Samantha! Samantha! Smash the mirror. What's wrong? What's happening? Oh, just go into our room and check her out. Okay. I need to see someone like it. What's the time now? Um, 10.30 on the dots. Good. Manti and the others should be here any moment from now, so you get going. Yeah, 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 yeah. She ought to be here now. Ah, she's already hey. here. Hey. hey! Speaking of the angel. Uh, good morning, Auntie. Good morning, K. How are you? I'm fine. Wow. You look terrific. Thank you. <laughs> good morning, ma. Good morning. And we're waiting for the others so we'll get going. Okay. That's it. Today's gonna be a wonderful day for me. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so happy for you. Thank God. Today is a wonderful day for me. Where are you going? 
She's up to. What happened? She just packed a little baggage and we tried everything to stop her, but she wouldn't listen to us. So where is she now? Listen, Kate, please, you just have to come to the house, please. Okay. Okay, just calm down, okay? What is it? Nina said, Samantha said, she can't. She can't what? I don't know. Hey. Let me go with you. No, 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 no. Just stay behind and take care of the other relatives, eh? Let me find out what exactly it is. Are you sure you will be okay? Ah, I think everything is okay. Everything is in order. You relax, relax, eh? This is unbelievable. I don't even know what to make of it. So what did Casey say? He said he's on his way. You know he's coming from a very far place. Let me just call him, maybe I can get him out. Wait. Wait. I think he is here. There's a car, that's true. Why are you able to contact her? She's not picking up my call. What happened? She fled before I got in. Nene, what did she say? She just smashed the mirror and screamed that she's not going to marry you. And the next minute she went into her room, picked up her box and ran out of the house without even telling us where she was going. I'm going to find her. Where? Anywhere. seen her for the past two weeks. Today is our wedding day. She ran out of me. I, I need to give her this ring. Look, I'm holding our wedding ring, but, but I can't find her. Have you called her? She's not picking. I need to give you this ring. Pink for your finger. What? If you don't like it, I will change it, okay? Isn't it beautiful? Samantha needs to wear this ring. She's supposed to be wearing this ring in some few hours. You need to calm down. Before you develop a mental disorder. I don't! I don't! Damn. 
around the street asking everyone after Samata. Ha, I think he's going crazy. No! Huh? No way! Hmm. Not my K! God forbid! I reject it! Yes, 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 yes. Wait for me! Please, Sam. Have you seen Samantha? Hmm? My wife, Samantha. We are supposed to get married. This is my ring. And I, I have to give her. She has to wear it. Samantha. I don't I don't, no, I don't, Samantha, don't, I don't know her. My wife. No, I don't know her. Are you crazy? Why? Hey, hey, hey. I'm looking for Samantha. Samantha, who is Samantha? She's my wife. Today is our wedding day. I'm supposed to give her my ring. The, the ring, wow. I can't find it. I don't know who Samantha is. Samantha, you know Samantha. You know Samantha. I don't know Samantha. Samantha. You know Samantha. You know Samantha. I don't know Samantha. You know Samantha. I said you know Samantha. I don't know. You know Samantha. I don't know Samantha. I don't know. Samantha. He doesn't know Samantha. I need to find Samantha. 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 I have to give you this one. Samantha. Samantha? You, you know Samantha, right? No, 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 no. You don't know Samantha? You don't know Found you. Hey, let's go home. Hey. Samantha. Hey. No, Samantha, I'm your auntie. No, Samantha. I'm, your, I'm your auntie. Samantha. Hey. Hmm? It's not Samantha. It's your to, auntie. I'm let's supposed go. to get married to Samantha. Too. I know. Hey, Samantha. Let's go home. Oh. Samantha. Yes. Okay, let's yes. go. I'm supposed to marry Samantha. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go home now. Yes. Samantha, yeah. let's go home. Yes, now, okay? yes. Okay. Let's go. Hey. Samantha, yes. 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 Yes.
no, 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 I was here early on. I wanted some information, but the guy I met wasn't too friendly. Oh, sorry. How may I help you? I'm looking for a couple by the name Mr. and Mrs. Jeff. I was just wondering if they're still lodged here. Okay, let me check. Okay. Well, actually, they checked out earlier this week. Um, I'm sorry, but would you know where they might have gone to? Actually, I, I wasn't the one who checked them out, so... Thank you. I'll find out. Sit up. I'm back. Hey. Whew. I was just about to go shower. Ready? Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, I think I need something like that. I need a cold shower. Yeah, so join me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. Guess what? What? Samantha's wedding has been cancelled. What? Cancelled? Well, not really cancelled. It's more like postponed. Postponed? To when? What happened? I don't really know. She didn't say when or why. She only called to let me know and asked where we were and I told her. You told her where we are? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Is there a problem? No, no, no nothing. No problem. It's just that this is what I was talking about. If we had gone for that wedding, we would have been disappointed. Maybe, maybe not. Oh. Anyway, let me just go in and shower. Are you coming? Yeah, I'll join you now. I just want to get something from the reception. I'll, get, I'll join you right now, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. okay, I'll be waiting. Alright. <laughs> Sweetheart, guess what? We're checking out of this place right now. Checking out? Yeah. Why and where? Well, I actually got a better offer in a five-star hotel. You know, almost the same rate with this place, but it's better than this place. So let's move it. Tonight? <sighs> Come on, baby. We just got here three days ago and we're already moving out. Can't we just stay at one place and enjoy ourselves? <sighs> or is there something going on? Did you hear me right? Did you? I'm talking about five-star hotel at a very cheap rate. It would be fun staying there. Okay, but not tonight. I'm tired. You don't worry, my love. You trust me on this, okay? You get dressed and I'll do the parking, all right? Okay. All right. Hello. Hi. I have a reservation here. Oh, okay. What is the name? Mr. and Mrs. Jeff Mills. Mr. and Mrs. Jeff Mills. All right. Room 117. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey,
What a beautiful coincidence. Your room is next to mine. Oh, wow. Samantha, the ball is in your court. Play it like the Williams. You've been sleeping all day. I know you'll wake up. You'll be well. But before then, let me tell you I love you. If she doesn't, I do. I pray you wake up to realize this truth. Please don't look for her anymore. She doesn't deserve you. You're awake. What happened? What am I doing here? Relax, you'll be fine. Let me call Dr. Sam. Doctor, he's awake. Okay, come now. King, Doctor, you're awake. awake. He's awake. Yeah. Wow. Thank God you're awake. Wow, okay. What's going on here? What am I doing now? Relax. You'll be fine, okay? Everything is under control. You go on. You will relax. definitely. Yeah. Just relax. Huh? Relax. Yeah. Is that not Jane? Okay. Meet me at the uh, private room, B12. Immediately. Right now, okay? My son, I can understand how you feel about this, and I want to say I am sincerely very sorry. I believe Samantha still has this phobia for marriage after that her terrible experience which you helped her overcome when you first met her, then as a doctor. I think she has not completely come out of it. I'm very sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I, I look for her and bring her back home. Samantha means a lot to me. I look for her and take off, take out the fear from her. <sighs> Where could she be now? Where? Huh? That's the question. I'll call you back, Mark. Oh, honeymoon boy. Samantha. Did I surprise you? Huh? What are you doing here? Wrong question. I think I should be asking you what you're doing here without me. Baby, we started together. So why aren't we together? But fortunately, I'm your next door neighbor. So I decided to come here and spend some time with you. Samantha, you have a guy and he's ready to marry you. Why did you cancel the wedding? You want to know why? You. And that's the truth. <sighs> Sweetie, you think I'm gonna rest and watch you go away? You actually believe that? So, what are you going to do? Kill me? As a matter of fact, you've tried, but you couldn't. Because I love you! I love you, don't you get it? <laughs> Why did I have to meet you, Jeff? Why did I even have to know you? You know what, for days I watched and prayed that you come close to me, but you kept going far away from me. Oh, God. Samantha, we've been through this before. 
please. I'm deeply sorry. Please go back to your God and marry him. Please. Driver turned back. You pressed? Yes. Did you use the toilet? Yes. Huh. The bathroom is so dirty. I don't want you to enter like that. It's too dirty. Excuse me. Why are you like this? Yeah. And why were you panicking as if you're hiding something in the bathroom? Boy, don't lie. Tell her the truth. Tell her the truth. I... I thought I used it and I didn't flush it, that's why. That's amazing. And so what if you didn't? Let me get going. Alright, baby. All right. Baby. Please, uh, When you come back, there is something I want us to talk about. Okay, sure. All right. All right. See you later. Take care. Okay. All right. Do you have a clue why we are here? To find out why she ran away and where she might be. Isn't it obvious to you that she doesn't love you or wants to marry you? I know you've been very nice to me. I also know you're trying to help me, but I love her, and I will find her. Well, I found something at her house, and I guess that might interest you. What's the name of this? You're a psychologist, so picture speaks, think. Maid of honor. Well, that's what you and I know. Where are they now? Are they back from their honeymoon? I have not seen them in a long time. Officers, how may I help you? 
We had a gunshot. So we were trying to find out where it came from. A gunshot? Where did it come from? I didn't hear anything. I was sleeping. I just got up, took my bath, and I'm ready to get out. So you didn't hear anything? Of course I didn't hear anything. Maybe it's the next building. Why can't you guys check the next building? Okay. Sorry for the disturbance. I thought you only wanted to change after we had lunch. Where are you going? I... I I'm going out. Out where? To look for her. Who? Samantha, of course. I know you want revenge for what she did to you. You don't need to, my dear. You don't. I don't need to. But I... I need to help her. I love her. You what? I love her. She's supposed to be my wife. I, I know what is wrong with her. Yes, you know what is wrong with her. But I don't know what is wrong with you. That girl is crazy. She's a mad woman now. She doesn't love you. She almost killed you. I came here, suffered and saved you. I helped you. And now you turned your back on me to her, okay? Are you a fool? Don't you know when a woman loves you? I do, okay. I do. I know you love me. But Christine, there's a big difference between like and love. I, I like you. You've been very nice and helpful to me, but I need to help her out. I need to. I love her. Well, maybe I should have stabbed you when I saw you in your pool of blood. Maybe I shouldn't have even picked that call that brought me here. Maybe I shouldn't have met you at all. Don't say that, Christine. I'm, I'm sorry. See, I appreciate you a lot, okay? Just that I love her. You know what? I need to do your dishes in the kitchen before I leave. Excuse me. Let's save ourselves the time wastage. Sweetheart, I'm still waiting for the answer. Okay, what you're doing to me is not fair, okay? Let me go! Of course I won't! We were supposed to be married. You wasted my time and my money! Oh, please, your money? How much and I'll pay you everything! Samantha, no, you can't pay me. It's too big. I'm gonna ask you for the last time. Are you with me or Jeff? Go to hell, Kay. I can never be with you. I'll find Jeff. <laughs> Samantha, I'm going to ask you for the very last time. Are you with me or Jeff? For the last time, Kay. Go to hell! Oh, splendid! <laughs>
Where was she? She just drove off. Drove out of where? I don't know. What happened to me? Jesus. What did she do? Don't tell him, Jeff. You can tell the police your wife is missing. What happened? Jeff, what happened? It's okay. So, what do you want now, Dr. K? Fair enough, I want us to take our meeting at Samantha's place as a, a little drama that should be discarded. What do you mean? You guys are up to something. Where's Samantha? I said, where's Samantha? Listen to me, Dr. K. If only I know Samantha's whereabouts. I've gone there and killed myself. Well, you've killed her and dumped her body somewhere, Jeff? Is that what you've done? <laughs> I wish I could. Because she had cost me so much. You listen. If anything happens to my wife to be, I will make sure. Don't! Don't you dare fight to me about that bitch! Don't you ever call her a bitch! Not in your life. <laughs> what is she then? Is she gonna think better than that? Whatever she was or whatever she is, you damn caused it. Because of your chicken heart, indecisive nature, that made you abandon it at the altar, you damn caused it! Get out of my house. <laughs> Jeff, uh, by the way, where's your wife? Is she around? I hope she's listening to us. Dr. K. When you see Samata, tell her to run for her life. Run forever! Now you get out! Now!
Christine, Christine, what have you done? Shit, I won't let you die, Christine. I won't let you die. Sam, hey. So, how is she doing? Well, she's doing fine. Just like she's still sleeping. Have you contacted her relations or parents? It's funny, you know. I don't think the parents stay in this country. So, what are you going to do now? I don't know, Sam. I don't know. But please, I want you to take care of her especially for me. Okay? I know you've done a lot for me lately, but a lot of things has happened that you don't know about. I need to find Samantha. Nicole's husband is furiously looking for her. I don't know what she's done. I don't know what happened, but I need to find her. Okay? So, no. just keep an eye on her for me, okay? It's okay. Man, you have to be careful. It's dark already. But I'll be fine, okay? All right. Just keep an eye on her for me. I'll see you later. All right. Keep safe, man. All right. See you. You're in safe hands now. How could you do that, Jeff? How could you? I didn't know what I was doing, okay? I grabbed something from me, the, the police were knocking at the door. I got it. I was confused. I was confused, I was afraid, I didn't know who to call responsible. I strongly want to believe Samantha I shot her. Witness. I don't have any witness. <laughs> I had to take her body out of here to avoid the police coming back to search for her. <laughs> You've got to help me, Jimmy. You've got your brothers in big shit. That's why I called you. Please. <laughs> you called me pretty late, Jeff. At this point, I have to let you into one of my greatest secrets. I'm a secret agent. I trained three years ago. If you had called me the moment you realized her dead beside you, I would have taken it up from there. But now it's a different ballgame, Jeff. If only I knew the truth, I wouldn't have called you. So what's going to happen now? Where did you hide her cops? And the body's in a, some uncompleted building along the road. So let's go there. Come on, let's go there now. Are we out, Jeff? Jeff. Jeff. Where is the cops? This is... I'm very sure this is where I kept the cops yesterday. I... I drove in, took the, took the body from the boot of my car, and I dropped it here. Nobody saw me. Of course you're not the only one who has access to the building. You think no one saw you, Jeff? Yes, this may be your uncompleted building. But it's either someone saw you and made away with the cops, or she's alive and walked away. Nobody! So where could she be? Oh no, this can't be possible. It's not possible. So where could she be? Or probably, Samantha has been watching you. Jesus Christ, what is happening to me? That's what you think. But let's go. We'll find out. Come on.
But I've heard all you said, Jeff. Um, I'm very sorry about your wife. I'm also looking for Samantha. She almost killed me. I'm not looking for her to revenge, but to help her. She's going insane, suffering from emotional trauma. She needs medical attention immediately, psychologically to be precise. You know, at first I thought she was hiding at your place, but now I know better. Could it be that she stole Nico's body? Well, we can't say for now until we see her. If um, you will excuse me, gentlemen, I would want to attend to Nature's call. Talk to you another time. Right. Thank you. Jeff. When I saw you entering with the body, I thought it was Samantha. To be sure, I had to find out. Fortunately enough, she coughed as I was about leaving. She will be fine. She's still sleeping due to the anesthesia. The bullet did not enter the body as such. She didn't bleed that much. Oh, no, no. Don't do that, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. May God richly bless you. Thank you for saving my life. Um, she's fit to go in a couple of days, yeah. You're a good man, Dr. K. A very good man. We better look for Samantha before she harm herself and harm others too, okay? Yes. I will organize for a search for her. I believe we'll find her. That is, if she's still in the country. I'll be most grateful. Um, I'll, I'll be in my office, okay? This, thank you. Sorry. Yeah. So see you. Thank Welcome. So how are you now? I'm okay. Have you seen Samantha? No. She's still missing. When am I gonna be discharged? Maybe tomorrow, when you're strong enough to go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go see my parents abroad. When? As soon as I'm discharged. Okay. Alright. See you later. Okay. I'm sorry for causing you all this stress. It's all right. Could you forgive me? I love you. You don't mean it, do you? See you later, okay? I'm so happy you are well and alive for me. I know. Baby, yeah. when are we going on a real honeymoon? You just tell me where and when. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd like to go to the place we first met. We're at the swimming pool? Yeah. <laughs> that hotel? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I just want to have some fresh memories of our first meeting. Well, then, consider it fun. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Is there anything else? Um, actually, there's something I want to talk to you about. Go on. What is it?
Baby, can you please talk to me? What's happening? I'm pregnant. You what? <laughs> I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes! <laughs> Only the guilty are afraid. What are you doing in my husband's house? You are not married to Kay yet, so he's not your husband. Oh, you think so? Do you wish me dead? Don't worry, sweetie. You'll die first. Are you okay? Samantha, she shot me. Relax, okay, calm down. Samantha is not around. She probably might be out of the country. Just relax, okay? This was very real. Yeah, it was just a figment of your imagination, okay? Calm down. Mm. Yeah, some coffee for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Breakfast is also ready. Breakfast? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll see you downstairs in a bit, okay? Just say yes, and I'll make you the happiest woman on earth. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Why? I, I thought this was all you desire. I'm afraid Samata is still out there. Anything might go wrong. I'm scared. You said you loved me. You made me fall in love with you. And now you're gonna make your figment of imagination come between us? It's not that I don't, but I'm scared this is happening too fast. I'm sorry, I, I can't. I can't. Sorry. Sorry for what? You have to make me a promise before I accept this ring. What promise? Promise me that when Samata shows up again, you're not gonna leave me for her. You're not sure you love me, are you? You don't love me, Kay. You don't. Say something, Kay. I know you don't love me, Kay. You don't. Samantha was my patient. She needed medical attention. And that is all it is to it. 
If I see her today, it's going to be the same thing. But right now, I need you to be my wife. And the only way you can be my wife is if you will stretch with your finger to wear this ring. I found out it hooked up, right? I, I found love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you guys. Oh, no. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You can just see them. They just look, they're fit for one another, right? I you can't say that. Yes. But I can yes. wait for the wedding. <laughs> Very soon. Yeah. We have a surprise for you ladies, okay? Yes, we have a surprise. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Alright. So, so still post it. Don't move. I don't, don't move. I'm speechless. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> Can you make me see your ring? That is lovely. That is so sad. Guys on the table. Guys. Your hands on your back. Your hands on your back. Your hands. Now move. Please. Move. Move now. Move. Move. Oh, no. Move. Move. No, sis, I'm, I'm calling the police. No, 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 don't, 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 don't call the Why? police. Why? I know who's behind us, okay? Who the hell is behind us? Calm down, calm down. Calm down, didn't you see what just happened? Sam Why are they taking them to? Samantha. Samantha? Yes. She's the one who behind us. I know those boys and I know where they're taking her. You mean Samantha is around and she's been watching us? Obviously. I'm going to call my detective friend now, alright? Okay. Make sure you leave the gates open. Samantha, so is you. Samantha, before I do with this. <laughs> Let's start with you, Christine. Sweetie, I thought we were supposed to be awesome friends. What happened? Samantha, please don't do this. That is not an answer to my question. Samantha, please, I'm sorry. You're still not answering my question. Well, if we are friends, you wouldn't be doing this to me. If we were friends, you wouldn't try to take over my boyfriend. Where are still at this? Well, yes, of course, you wish me dead. Samantha, Samantha, please, you're going insane. You need help. Let us help you, please. <laughs> <laughs> that brings me to you, Nicole. You think I'm insane? No, no, no. But, but you're going insane. Let us help you. You need to stop this. You don't know what it feels like to have a broken heart that is refusing to be a man. Do you? So, mother, every heart can be amended. It's just a matter of time. Time heals all wounds. <laughs> you know, you're right. Time does heal all wounds. But it can heal faster when some faces do not exist. And that's you and you. So, if your faces don't exist, then I can heal faster. That's what the doctor's reports say. So, why don't we try that now? 
Your voice and unstoppable war in my heart, so how can that be peace, huh? How can that be peace? Step back! All you need is one more chance and you will be. Okay. Please, I want my knees. You can do this, please. Let me help you. I can help you, Samantha, please. Samantha, please. Can't do this. Please. Okay. I'm tired. Let me see who goes first. of my friends doing? Well, Christine is awake right now. The bullet didn't affect her that much. Okay, how about um, Jeff and Nicole? Well, Jeff is still unconscious. We had to perform surgery to bring out the bullet. But I assure you he will be fine. Nicole? What of Nicole? Hello? Hello? Her case is quite complicated. I can feel her pulse, but her heart is not beating. She's been placed on oxygen as I talk to you now. Okay, I need to see her. I need to see her. I need to see her. Yes, but not now. You need to rest. That's why we don't want anybody to disturb you. She will be fine, Dr. K. I assure you that. Okay. All right. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
can't no. sleep like this. You can't continue to sleep with me. Let her rest, okay? Baby, I'll, no. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting, baby. I'll be waiting. <laughs> She's going to be fine, okay? <laughs> very well to treatment. Well, I can see you surely fine. Mm -hmm. I missed you. I miss you too. I'm very sorry for dragging you into all this, okay? It's all my fault, not yours. No. no, it's my fault. So, how is Nicole? Nicole is here to regain consciousness. My God, let nothing happen to her. She cannot no, die. She's not going to die. She'll come out of it. She'll pull through. Well, thank God you made it. We thank God. Mom, I'm here again. What do you want again, my daughter? This is your seventh day. Mom, you're glowing. Even brighter than the first day I saw you. You have started glowing too. You have no much time. I... I want to be where you are. But Jeff is crying. I need to be with him. Well, the choice is yours. To be with me or him. I leave you now. Mom, wait. Mom. Mom. Mom, wait. I'm, I'm not leaving here till you talk to me. I'm not leaving here. <laughs> is here to take you to your world for medication. You didn't get it right. I'm telling you that. I'm not going anywhere. Then she wakes up. Jeff. You get it? Calm down, okay? <laughs> Doctor. 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 Why is she not breathing? Why is she not breathing? Doctor, why is she not breathing? Doctor. Somebody talk to me. Do me. Talk to me, what's going on? We, we've lost her. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is my life! Do you know what you're talking about? Do you know what you're talking about? Stop. Hey! 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 Baby! 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 Baby!
It's rather unfortunate. <laughs> but you have to accept the reality that she's normal, okay? So love. 